Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can generate full diagnostic report for FL Studio 20. So um, I have here Windows Explorer opened and I'm going to double click on Windows. I want to go to my C drive and then I go to program files x86, scroll down, find the image line folder right here. Click on FL Studio, sorry, don't click on FL Studio 20, click on the shared folder here. Uh, so I'm on the shared folder inside the shared folder so I can select the start folder now And inside this start folder you will see this diagnostic. So that's a tool. It appears like a shortcut uh, It's not just um, three kilobyte. The shortcut is three kilobyte, but it's actually a tool. So I'm going to open it now Okay, so this is what I'm presented with. So I'm going to jump straight to run rendering tests so when you click on, uh, you select this run rendering test, what is going to happen is FL Studio is going to conduct a rendering test. So it's going to render some audio with all the plugins and sound effects that you have. So for each and every plugins in your VSC plugins uh, directory, it's going to render an audio and test if everything goes well. So I selected that. I'm going to click on select. I have this um, message here. I'm going to click on OK. I don't have any instance of FL Studio open except from this diagnostic window. So I'm going to click on OK and um, FL Studio is going to open up right now. And then it's going to perform all the rendering tests. So um, you see, so this is one test, then a second test again and again. And you can see here it's doing for bass drum. Uh, now it's for a beat map and it's going to do that uh, for a while. So um, of course, uh, when it does that, your computer might uh, make a bit of noise uh, due to the fan. It consumes a lot of CPU. Right now, I am on uh, high performance for my battery. So um, just leave your PC. It's best not to touch it while um, the rendering test is going on. So just leave it. I guess I'm going to have to um, skip uh, that part of the video because it's kind of repetitive and um, Nothing much is going to happen for the next five minutes or so. It's just going to render over and over again. And at some point, I believe it's even going to restart the application. And um, yeah, so when it's done, it's going to give me a report. And that's what I'll show you. All right. So now the tests are done. I'm going to view the reports. So I'm clicking on OK. And I have this Chrome window opening. You can see the uh, the URL is just like a local file and it's giving me a summary here. So um, I have uh, my VSC folders, uh, then I have my test results, so the audio device uh, system test results and I can have some insight on my CPU, um, virtual memory, as well as my video cards. I don't have any third party applications interfering with FL Studio. Uh, these are my issue. Uh, device uh, results. I have two of them. I've installed both during the installation. So issue for all and FL Studio issue, although usually I use this one. But uh, yeah, there's no issue with any of them. So I have my VSC test results. Finally, you have rendering results. So it rendered some audio with all my um, 130 plugins. I think I have 133 or something like that. Okay, so uh, the red thing that you see here is not necessarily a bad thing, but um, these are things that are highlighted in case you ever have any rendering issue and you're in touch with the image line support team, then uh, you might need to show them this. This can contain useful information, uh, but uh, the fact that it is red doesn't necessarily mean that you have some serious issues. All right, so this is the report, uh, pretty comprehensive. I recommend that from time to time you run such tests uh, just like you would um, maintain your car or your PC or anything. Just run this test and make sure that you don't have any issues with your application. I'm going to show you other options here. I know some people are afraid to try new stuff unless somebody lets them know what to expect. So I'll, I'll make separate videos for these. Uh, but uh, for now, that is it. I'm going to click on exit here. It's going to close um, this diagnostic. And I will catch you next time. But before I sign off, uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share your comments and share this video and uh, check out the links to the musical products that I have in my descriptions. So headphones, microphones or things like that. Usually I like to select the very best uh, from Amazon or the web and just share them with you guys. So make sure you check them out 
and uh if you want to support this channel make sure you make a purchase through the affiliate links and uh, that's it for me i'll see you next time bye